This is my first of my four video series on cell activators coming up. Hi, my name is Susan King and I'm a full-time artist. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be making three different cell activators. So this will show you that there's other options out there for you to create a beautiful bloom. So these are the colors that I'll be using in this demonstration, my four video series. This one here is um, Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. This one is Transparent Yellow Medium by Amsterdam. And this one is Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. They're all um, transparent paints. These are both my varnishes that I'll be uh, testing with. Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish and Color Pour Glossy Varnish. Joe Sonia can be found um, online on Amazon. I'm not really sure in, uh, where in the U.S. that you can get it other than Amazon. Um, I'm not really sure where else you can get it, but I'm pretty sure it's um, easy to get. Also, Color Pour Glossy Varnish is fairly easy to get. You, I got mine at Walmart in Canada. <clears throat> I'm sure that the U.S. can get it as well. I don't know if you can get this at, on Amazon. I didn't even look. But, uh, yeah, that's the two varnishes that I'll be using today. Or in my four, vi four video series. The, um, that's for my pouring medium. The paint, the untinted paint that I'll be using in my pouring medium is Glidden Premium Accent Base Satin. I found this at um, Home Depot. And my pillow is Glidden Premium White Base Satin. Also at um, Home Depot. Okay, I'm mixing up black paint, Amsterdam oxide paint, and water for the CA. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of paint. Half a teaspoon. Okay, I think that's it <clears throat> for that. Okay, I huh, forgot to check my camera. I forgot to delete other videos on it. So it stopped after I put the paint in the cup. So you didn't see how much water I put in. I put in, <coughs> excuse me, I put in a quarter teaspoon of distilled water and then I added two drops two more drops after that sorry about that make sure that that doesn't happen again uh, the reason I use I explained the reason I use distilled water is because it has no in impurities in it um, if you use tap water depends on I guess where you live um, it could have certain impurities in it and it could affect your your painting. So I don't know if you'll see be able to see this. It's just dripping. I actually have never used water in paint before, so I'm not sure if it should be dripping or or what. So it seems Um, seems a little thick. I'm not really sure. I'm going to add another drop or two. Let's try one drop. <laughs> I guess because I don't have much paint in here, 
<clears throat> I don't want to use too much paint if it doesn't work for me, so it's hard to get a good uh, stream going. <clears throat> it's kind of dripping, so I'm going to leave it at that. And when I do the painting, I'm going to see, I will see how, if I need to add any more to it. So that's that. Okay, this is, um, this test is for, where is it? Water and paint. So this is, um, the Amsterdam Black Oxide paint, a uh, paint for the, uh, and water for the CA cell activator. These are my paints. I'm using um, Glidden for my pouring medium. I'm using Glidden Premium Satin um, Accent Base and mixed with this, this one is the Color Pour Glossy Varnish. You can get this at Walmart. Okay, so these are a little thick on the thick side. I couldn't get them too much thinner, um, but it shouldn't it shouldn't make a huge difference. Usually my paints are a little bit thinner than this, and the uh, Josanya is thinner. So what am I going to put first? I'm going to put the. blue first then the red Then the yellow. I'm using the same colors for every uh, recipe of cell activator. Okay, so now I'm going to put the activator on. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see me blow. Okay, I'm seeing a tiny bit of a halo, so that's a good sign. Hopefully you can see me. I'm just going to blow straight down and then out. that out a little bit more. Seems to work pretty good. Okay, I'm going to let the center come back to level with the other paints and then I'm going to spin it. So we know that paint and water work. So that's the cheapest option, easiest option, as long as you have Amsterdam paint. It does work with white as well. It only gave me cells in the middle. It didn't give me cells all the way around. But it could have been the way I blew it. That's part of the, uh, that's another hard part is, is how to blow out. A lot of people use, um, a straw or a hair dryer. Hair dryer works pretty good on a bigger canvas, but a little one you'd probably just use a straw if you can't blow with your breath. So I am going to spin it. Okay, 
So this one works. Not very many cells, but they're they're not bad. Okay, I am trying the same cell activator, the water and paint, with my Josonia uh, mix. It's the same untinted paint, but it's Josonia. And this is slightly thinner than the other paint. Slightly thinner cons consistency. I think the poly, I think the color pour varnish is thicker than the Josonia. That's why. That's why it's different. The same order. Blue. And the red now. The red. Now the yellow. Get your bubbles. Definitely more cells with this one. A lot more gorgeous cells. Show you. Wow, that's amazing. Amazing, amazing. try adding a little bit more um, untinted paint in this mixture just to find out if that's why I don't know if you can see from there but you can see here all the the way it looks the only reason could be because it's exactly the same paint exactly the same untinted paint Exactly the same cell activator. The only difference is this, is the varnish. So maybe you don't need as much varnish. It's pretty, very pretty. You can see what I'm talking about here. Oops. Here, and over here, and over there. Other than that, it looks really nice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be mixing the paint um, with the glue and water mixture. I've already mixed the glue and water, and what it is, is a three parts glue, Elmer's glue all, to two parts distilled water. And I already had some mixed up. I'm gonna shake it up a bit. So I'm gonna use this. This is the mixture. And now I've got my paint here, my uh, 
Amsterdam the oxide black. I'm going to be using oxide black in all of my mixtures today. So anyway, this is glue and paint. Glue, water, and paint. So I'm starting off with a half a teaspoon of, of paint. So that's about a half a teaspoon. Okay, and I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon of the mixture. Pretty windy today. Okay, seems a bit thick so far. So I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon of the glue and water mixture. Yeah, it's a bit. Scraping the sides as I mix, mix really, really good. I think we're going to have to put more in. Yep, so that's two of these, so that's half a teaspoon, that's almost equal. So now I'm going above half a teaspoon. So I'm going to mark this down as I do it. So I don't forget how many I put in. One, two. So now it'll be th three quarter teaspoons. Looks like I'm going to need another one. Oh, I better mark that down. So that's actually one teaspoon. So that's... If this works out, it would be two parts glue and water to one part paint. Which sounds right. another eighth of a teaspoon. So this will be kind of hard to figure out, but if you have measuring spoons, you can do it. Okay, this probably will be work. This probably will be good. So I will show you, whoops. Hopefully, if you can zoom in on your camera, you can see this. What it is, it's leaving a tiny mound and then disappearing. All right, I am doing the paint, glue, and water mixture for the CA cell activator. And this is the color pour the mix painting that has the color pour varnish in it. The 
paints that have the color pour varnish in them. Bubble or what? No, I don't think so. Okay, now my cell activator. Getting very many cells with this. All right, I think I'm going to spin now. It doesn't look too badly. Not the greatest cells. And here where I blew out, didn't look too great. Would have looked better if I left that alone. Okay. Okay. Um, now on to my Joe Sonia mix in my paints. My Joe Sonia varnish. So everything's the same except for the varnish in this one. Trying not to add too much of the blue because <clears throat> because it's a black cell activator. They dried, the other ones dried a little bit um, dark in the middle. So I'm just going to try to put more of the other colors than the blue. Well, this works better with this varnish, much better than the color pour. That's another tip um, that I've learned. Uh, I don't follow all the time, but I, learn, I, I know it. The less colors that you add on here, the more cell ac action you get. So if you only put three colors, two colors, three colors, you get more cell action than if you put like five six colors but if you blow with a hair dryer you get a lot so this must be just for blowing with your breath okay I think I'm ready to spin it
Very nice. Pretty cool cells. I don't know what's going on over here. I guess because I stretched it maybe too much. But the rest of it is really nice. So that's glue and water. Okay. I am doing the paint glue mixture, which is um, three parts glue to one part water, and Floetrol, regular North American Floetrol. I just have it in a different container. So I'm going to shake this really well. I'm going to make this mix first, the glue and the Floetrol mix. And then I'm going to uh, put my paint in the cup and add this mix to it until I get the right consistency. Okay, so I am going to add one teaspoon of Floetrol. Oops. mixing a small amount. So one teaspoon of Floetrol. To one quarter teaspoon of the glue mix, the glue and water mix. So that's four to one. Four parts Floetrol to one part glue and water mix mixture. Okay, so that's that. Uh, one quarter of the glue mix. this up. It's quite runny. Okay, so that's that. It should be mixed good enough. Now I'm going to add, let's drop that, about half a, tea, half a teaspoon of the paint. So now I'm just going to add the mixture to that bit by bit until I get what I want, the consistency for the CA. Okay. Um, let's start with maybe one quarter teaspoon. Probably will have to add another one in there. I'm not really sure, but I think I will. Yeah, it's already still thick. I can tell right away that I need to add another one. I'm 
me be a third. Oh, I'm not marking them down. I think I will need a third. fourth. I'm going to probably use it all up. Oh. <laughs> I might not have made enough. Well, that's pretty thick, so I am going to add more of the make more of this I should have doubled it up It's better be enough. One more. I think I'm going to need to finish this off. Maybe what I could do is just add a little bit of water to it to make it the right thin thickness. Consistency, it's getting there. Uh, so that's another one. So, no, we didn't. So this is probably another quarter in here, so I'm just going to add the rest of it to it. It's a touch thick, so I'm not going to mix any more of the mixture. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water, just plain water just to bring it to the right. That was like three drops. One more drop. So that's about four drops of water I added to this. That should be fine. Okay, now the um, paint glue Floetrol cell activator with the um, color pour varnish in my pouring medium. <clears throat> so.
sure if I see an air bubble. Not seem to be working very good with the color pour varnish mix. Okay, I'm going to spin. done. Doesn't look too bad. You yeah, had a few cells. Looks pretty nice. Okay, now the um, paint glue, paint glue and flow trawl cell make cell activator. With the Joe Sonny paints. Oops. <laughs> Just messed up there. Okay, blue, red. Yellow. <clears throat> Cell activator. Looks like I'm getting a little so, um, halo, but not a lot. Okay, blowing. I'm going to leave it at that. Show you a close up. 